Heat Signature Hot Tips Exciting news. Uh, last night, Crimzo posted on the Heat Signature forums the key to a mystery that's actually been going on for quite some time. Occasionally, at least when I was playing uh, Heat Signature using a mouse and keyboard and using keyboard movements, I would somehow manage to dash at a guard despite the fact that I, that I was nowhere near a guard. Uh, I would dash in a direction that uh, was kind of where my mouse was pointing, but I didn't have a reliable way of triggering it. And Crimson has figured it out. However, it is super hard to do. So what happens is if you are in throw mode and you select to throw and press the movement key at the same time, and this takes a lot of work and I can almost never do it, then you will dash. So I've managed to get a fairly reliable reproduction using auto hotkey. So now if I just press this key combination, didn't quite work. Let's try again. I had it. There we go. So uh, that key combination, so the way it works is um, if we throw at the same moment that we move, what we seem to do is we seem to trick the game. So the game checks when you uh, go to make an attack that it's valid. And so uh, it's always valid to throw something, right? Uh, so that's why we need to be in throw mode. Uh, but we can only attack normal, and we can only normally attack with a melee weapon if there's a target in range. But the game doesn't uh, if we move at the exact same time the game receives that input, then we will in fact uh, bypass the first check, but then we'll leave throw mode before the throw occurs. And so suddenly instead we do a regular melee attack. And so the, the reason why I think this is how it works is I've managed to get it into an auto hotkey script, and I'll just put that on screen now. Uh, so here you go. That's the heat signature dash bash. Uh, so here, I, this is just uh, when I release Control Z, uh, and it will send uh, mouse left down, W, and then mouse left up. So I'm basically holding down the left the attack key and moving at the same time, and this is close enough together that effectively uh, I'm making those two things at the same time. Uh, on uh, my laptop, which is not as good a machine, so this does, you could in fact see that it took multiple attempts even with this completely automated method. And on my work machine, it's easier to do, probably because heat signature runs at a lower speed there. Um, even though it's also set to 60 frames per second, it's just running on worse hardware. And then what I'm doing is I'm waiting 30 milliseconds uh, or a couple of frames. And then I'm pausing. So this way I can do it very reliably and I don't lose time in failed attempts. Uh, and then the script ends. So the reason why we have to wait 30 seconds is for a different glitch that was found quite some time ago. And that is if you pause just after you issue a uh, melee attack command, rather than it going in the direction that you had selected, instead you dash to the universal right. So if I were to remove that, Instead, what will happen is my thing to make it so this is uh, more reliable without losing time would have me occasionally dash in what appears at first to be a completely random and arbitrary direction, but it would also very consistently do that. So this is really exciting. Um, it is kind of frustrating that basically I can only get this in a tool assisted form, uh, obviously uh, I've just shared the script with you. It's easy enough to set up auto hotkey to do this uh, and once you've got that you can actually try and do things in a more ordinary way. But this means that some of the Rocket Man style things that we used to do, uh, sorry, that we're used to doing with armored guards, we can potentially do with unarmored guards. So I can do this and didn't work. Okay, this. It is rather annoying that, like I said, it doesn't seem to be very reliable. And then here I can 
just, you know, do a regular melee attack. Uh, it is worth noting it doesn't work when it's on cooldown, but obviously if you've got multiple melee weapons, you can chain it. Uh, and then I can do something uh, like this, and I can just dash out of the room, and that works out quite well. Uh, so yeah, that is the heat signature dash bash. Uh, like I said, this is something that was cropping up occasionally. I've literally seen it happen in one of Tom Francis's videos, uh, but never un until now we've never been able to figure out what inputs triggered it. Now we have, uh, and the next step is to figure out a way to trigger it that doesn't rely on auto hotkey. Uh, I should note that I have tried fooling around in game, so you can bind the same uh, key to multiple things. So for example, I could bind W to both up and move right, and then I would move diagonally upwards when I press W. Uh, you can, but you can imagine that's not actually that useful. Um, unfortunately, even here, if I were to bind attack and W to the same thing, right, like so, uh, even though that's ultimately what I'm doing, and so I've just pressed W, uh, oh, right, obviously that did in fact make an attack, but I won't do the bash here. Instead, it just doesn't work. Um, we get this weird effect of having the melee thing showing up around and I will bash into anyone I run into but yeah uh, so it is super difficult to get off and like I said it's I can get it like maybe one time in 10 on my laptop and I can get it maybe one time in 30 on my desktop it's really hard if someone figures out a reliable way that doesn't rely on auto hotkey that would be fantastic uh, but in the meantime, uh, I guess I'm just going to make this auto hotkey script available to everyone and then uh, as a community we can decide what we're going to do. So I really welcome discussion on the Discord about this and about how we should be handling an exploit like this. And of course, you know, suspicious developments could always uh, decide to actually get rid of the glitch if now we know a reliable way to trigger it but they're kind of busy with their current work, I am, I imagine, so we'll see if they decide to do something like that. Alright, that's it for today. Next time we'll probably go back to Noita Notes.